the slowest diesel pump I have experienced yet. And I probably need to fill up to about maybe $55, $60. I'm going to be here a while. Oh, and there's no lock on here, so I can't just put the clip down and walk off. I have to stand here and hold it. So it's, uh, it's the next day now. Um, it was peaceful overnight. It got very, very dark here. I didn't expect it to be that dark. So, but yeah, very peaceful overnight. Um, luckily my hand just cramped up in this position. So um, it wasn't too much of a problem just holding the handle here. Um, I did try and dance around a bit. I had to pee in the trash can here. Um, so I didn't want to take my hand off this. So I managed to figure that out. So that went well. Um, yeah, so I think I'm almost done. About $50 worth, 20 gallons in what, maybe maybe nine hours, something like that. So not too bad. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to finish up doing this and then head home, hitch up the trailer and then uh, drive to Virginia. Hopefully Natalie had a good night's sleep so she can keep me awake. But yeah, thank you, Exxon. Um, I'm, I have no shame in shaming you. So no problem in shaming you. So uh, thanks for that. This is it. I'm doing my last black tank flush and I'm doing it properly because obviously I can't do this at home. Um, I should also show that our black tank um, gate, the original one where you pull the cord stopped like sealing properly a few weeks ago and it's gradually got worse and worse and worse and I can only imagine it's where there's some like toilet paper or something stuck in it. don't know it's blocked or maybe it's cables rusted or something anyway so I bought this extra one here that I'll overlay the clip um, and it's just a Camco one that you can just put on it gives you an extra gate which has been brilliant best thing I've ever bought I think also gives you a clear bit up here which I'm not going to show you right now but so you can see what if anything's stuck and also see when it's running clear as well rather than waiting at the other end so I bought that but when I get back I'm gonna need to take all of that gate off the black tank so I want it as clean as possible so that when I get home I don't have to I don't know what's going to happen because I'm going to have to lie underneath it. Yeah. Maybe we'll video it in case something really funny happens. Yeah. But, um, so yeah, so I'm doing a proper flush here. So thank you to the KOA for letting me do this. I didn't ask permission, but I'm sure they'll be fine with it. We have just left Kingsport Bristol KOA, trying to get that name right, which was near Blountville, Tennessee, right next to our friends who we can't see thanks to the coronavirus. But we did get a good last chicken, fried chicken as our, our last meal. We decided to try the KFC, I wish we hadn't. I wanted to try that in Kentucky, so it was kind of a letdown, but it wasn't very nice. So we should explain as well, when we're, where we live, we're in the middle of nowhere, we can't just grab a KFC bucket. No. It's 30 minutes away, so we'll have it every now and then, but it's also one of those things I like to eat at home rather than in store. Yeah, yeah. So, not that we can at the moment anyway, but <laughs> we prefer to take it home, eat it comfortably, make a mess, grease all over your face, you know, that type of thing. So, so it doesn't happen often, but I'm almost, I think, fried chicken out. I think I'm nearly Wow, there. good. I can't deal with any more spots on my face from KFC, from fried chicken. Anyway, we are heading home. No more stops, that's it. We're, that was the last port. I don't know how else to explain it. It's kind of depressing. Um, I know a lot of people are saying that they're glad we're coming home, but we're not. We're not glad we're coming home. We've still had two months of this trip left, yeah. and it's kind of sad that we've had to cut it short, and you know, we just really hoped all this would blow over and how wrong we were. 
So the feeling I've had like now is, you know when you go on vacation or on holiday and you're kind of waiting in the hotel lobby, waiting for your coach to pick you up and take you to the airport because you know you've got like 12 hours traveling before you can get home, back to real life. Yeah, it's that feeling. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. Nervous. To a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out it's Daytona Beach. I'm done living life with the lights out, down with my own doubts. Be free. Happy New Year. 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 Happy New Eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche. We're on the run. This is what we waited for. Oh, yeah. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Do you want to do the end of this video? No, I'm going to go to bed. Okay.